Hi hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can create abstract animals like this real quick in Blender. It's very simple using basic shapes and adding a few modifiers which you can control to get so many different things. If you want to see more of these compositions or check more about me, follow me or support me, the links are below. Anyway, let's jump into the tutorial. Delete lighting camera, go to front view, edit mode, make sure you enable X-ray mode to select the things behind and grab these vertices. Add subdivision surface modifier and increase the levels. We can add edge loop here, few more here, just to limit the subdivision surface modifier. Add remesh modifier, change to smooth. Decimate, change to planar and increase the angle limit to whatever you like. Add wireframe modifier, increase the thickness. Last, subdivision surface one more time. So now we have this. We can enable all boundaries from here. Just by playing now with the depth or the scale of the remesh, we can get so many different results. Go ahead and try everything. Play with the remesh and the decimate modifier to see how many things you can get. Duplicate it, right mouse button to leave it to the same place, and let's rename these two objects. We can remove subdivision and wireframe from this one, add edge split, and decrease the edge angle. Let's hide this object to see what we're doing. Add smooth modifier. Solidify modifier, increase the thickness. Last, our best friend, subdivision surface modifier. Shake smooth, but we can see that the magic don't work. This is because we're using Grimesh and we have to enable smooth shading. Do the same here. We can tweak some of these settings. can still tweak everything. But make sure you duplicate exactly the same settings for this object as well. We can continue with the horns. Shift A, create a cone. Scale it down, rotate it, go to edit mode, and extrude and rotate these edges several times, so we can form the horn. We can add subdivision surface, increase levels for view and rendering, and adjust the shape. We can go to edit mode, select everything, and move it here so the origin point position is at the bottom just to be easier when we scale or rotate it. Let's continue with the eyes, shift A, sphere, scale it down, position. We can add mirror modifier, 
select mirror object and change axis. Let's move the head into any collection. And we can continue with the body. Starting with cube, scale it, move it here. We can hide the head for now. For this, we use geometry nodes, so let's create an instance. Starting with a cone, change the vertices to 6. Scale it down, apply the scale. We can go to edit mode, extrude these vertices, scale them, extrude one more time, add subdivision surface. Move it again in edit mode, so we change the origin point position. With the cube selected, let's go to Geometry Nodes, click here to add node 3, press Shift A and add Point Distribute. From here we can control the number of the points and from here we can control the distance between them. Shift A, Point Instance, select our instance. We can rename the new object. Hide the instance and unhide the head. Go back to layout. Let's round a little bit this cube. Make sure you disable geometry nodes for now. Add subdivision, move it on top. Add a bell just to limit the subdivision. Enable geometry nodes. Play with the settings until we have what you like. And we can add our camera. Press Ctrl Alt number 0 to snap it to the view. The best way to move it is the fly mode with Shift and Tilt button. Then you can use Q, W, V, E, A, S, D to move it around. It's time for the materials. Change to material preview. Go to material properties. And increase the metallic all the way up for the shape. They both using the same material. So let's separate them. Decrease the metallic, change the color. And decrease the roughness as well. If you go to edit mode, we can see that this is still one object. We can always apply all modifiers from here. But the best way to do it is to convert it to mesh. And it will apply all modifiers. Select everything in edit mode, press P and choose by loose parts to separate everything. And with everything still selected, let's move it to new collection. If we go to shading, we can add different colors to this material. Shift A, add color ramp. Plug it to base core. Add object info as well and use the render. Change to constant, so we use only the colors that we choose. And pick whatever colors you like. We can add new colors. We can change the position of the bars.
Then we can select the setup, shift it to duplicate it, Ctrl C to copy, select the gel instance, add new material, and press Ctrl V to paste it. Plug it to base color, and you can use the same materials or just change to whatever you like. We can change in this color. Time to set up the scene. We can open one more window just to make everything easier. Add a plane, scale it, rotate it on X axis. We can change the background color. It's time for rendering. Let's change to cycles. GPU compute if you have your graphic card. And if you go to world properties, we can add our Asia RAM up from here. Press Ctrl B, outline the camera so we render only this part and have a better idea how our final image will look like. Add area light. Increase the power, increase the size as well. You can duplicate it, rotate it. Position the place you want. Just find what's work best for your project and for your composition. Increase the power a little bit and duplicate it one more time. Decrease a little bit the power and change the color. We can change this color as well. Go to color management, change look to high contrast, you can tweak exposure and gamma. Last, we can enable depth of field and use the eyedropper to select any object you like. Decrease the f stop. The other way is to press E on distance and choose the distance you like. That was everything. I really hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you on the next one.